All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Adon. I'm my boy Christopher the Conch here. And we are Break Room Blitz, yeah, baby. Yeah, let's see. So we just came back from seeing The Great Wall. How great. great. Man, and I got to say, yeah. there's no movie like a movie with a hive mind. Love them hive minds. What? what? Can, 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 can you check this guy real quick? You know what a hive mind's like? Yeah. This is your queen. I killed her. Oh, I don't you know what suck. to do. I don't know what to do, my queen. Yeah, I cry like a little baby. Side, just came up with a hive mind. Hive mind sucks, but yeah, just not wanted to get on these guys' nerves. Uh, so we got another hive mind. So the Great Wall, you know about the, the Great Wall in China. Yeah. Instead of building it for the Hans, they built it for these creatures that are coming over. I would say the creatures are kind of cool. They don't show you in the actual trailer. <laughs> but they're kind of cool, though. Yeah. Um, and then Matt Damon, you know, they get caught. And then he stays in, a, in order to fight. So that's what it's about. So we got Matt Damon, of course. We got Gene Tiang. We got Andy Liu. We got William Defoe. William Defoe. <laughs> and we got Pedro Pascal. <laughs> and a bunch of other characters as well. But that's the gist of who's starring in it. Okay, let's just jump in. Hello. This is something that uh, everyone should be going to go see. It's a must see. Uh, you know what? At first, I thought it was like kind of. I was on the fence about it when I saw Matt Damon in the trailers. Obviously, it's supposed to be like a Great Wall. I'm thinking Asian style movie. Matt Damon. Okay, what's going on here? Here we go again, Hollywood. Another Gods of Egypt movie coming along our way. Uh. <laughs> And, uh, I mean, you know what? Sure enough, I mean, it, it, it just got disappointed as the movie just went along. I was kind of laughing because mm. after the movie, I just saw Don sitting there and he just looks like... <laughs> I'm just like, I'm looking at him all, you look very upset. <laughs> yeah, you know, it just, like, uh, it, it kind of killed it for so many reasons. You know, we got the hive mind, which is, like, not original. We were talking about uh, ah. Independence Day Resurgence. We were talking about Ender's Game. Um, you know, um, Star Trek did it too. Which Star kind of Trek, really Star took Trek it too. Off, dang. Yeah, that Star Trek Beyond seems so. to be a thing. I, I don't like the fact that okay, you have this amazing army, and then you have the one queen, and when she dies, everyone becomes stupid. I'm just like, no. Yeah, and they literally just stop like yeah. statues. Like, uh, I don't have a brain <laughs> no more. And I'm, yeah, it's kind of like it. There's no intellect going on. So yeah. when they're writing this, they're like, you know what? Yeah. The best person is going to be the queen. And then these people, all they have to do is think about getting the queen. And that's it. Yeah, right. that's I'm it. like, there got to be some other strategy going on. Right. They right? did some cool things in this movie, but this movie definitely wasn't. This is, I wouldn't rush out to go see it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And, and I feel like they really downplayed a lot of characters. I mean, oh, yeah. for me, there's a lot of cons in this movie. But I mean, where it really shined was like seeing this unique army on the wall. You know, it's like every single time they had like an action shot of them showing the army and like, okay, this is what they can do. And these different characters. It was pretty cool to me, you know. I mean, I, I did, I enjoyed it. I wasn't like bored. I wasn't uh, like, why am I still here? I knew I shouldn't have seen this movie. He didn't fall it, asleep. <laughs> well, I had a lot of rest today. <laughs> uh, only the the most irritating thing was one of the ladies next to us was kind of rude. Very but right. other than that, I kind of enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it was like I wouldn't rewatch it. Yeah. But if there's nothing else for you to do, you've seen all these movies, yeah. or maybe later on you see it in the red box, hey, right. I would go, I would say you should go ahead and watch yeah. it. And, and I it's think a that's fun, like, it's a fun play. It's a fun, yeah. it's a fun movie for sure. And it's a movie where, you know, us recommending to you, I would say you can wait on it. <laughs> I would right. recommend just waiting to rent it, you know, red box, or it's Amazon a, it's Prime. A $5 yeah. theater night. I mean, there you go. Bad. Yeah. Bad yeah, matinee. For for sure, don't pay full price and don't see it. And it's and not I, a must watch. <laughs> it's it's not a must watch. But it's okay to watch it. And I feel like there were like some elements in 3D. But if I were to go on to see it in 3D, I would have been pretty upset. Oh, I wouldn't want to see it in 3D. No, we saw yeah. it in standard def, and that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't spend an arm and a leg to go see it. Right. But we want to see it for you guys to see. You know, if there's something you should go see. Yeah. I mean. It's not a kung fu movie. It's not a kung fu movie. No. It's not, don't think that. It's not a. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with a lot of these Asian style movies like this one, but Red Cliff uh, is another style like army movie, um, and it's it's somewhat like that. There are elements of this army, but um, it's far out. Of yeah, it's just um, it's mythical. 
It's mythical. It's more like a sci-fi kind of, you know, yeah, like no, fantasy. Yeah. yeah, creature comes from an asteroid, and now they and now they come. You know, every few years, every sixty years, they come back. Yeah, it yeah. seems like every sixty years for the Terrific. past nine hundred years. Yeah. Now there was a controversial thing where Matt Damon has a choice. Mm-hmm. He can either stay mm-hmm. and help people live. Yes. Or he can think about himself and his friend and leave with the goods. Right. What would you guys have done in that that aspect? If I was in Matt Damon's shoes and I was like a phenomenal archer, I know you're an awesome archer, um, but, uh, you know, it's like the fate of the world lies in your hands kind of thing. So it's like, this is like, if you don't stop them here, they're going to make it to wherever you go eventually, you know? Well, they've been stopping them for 900 years, you never know. Two words. Yeah. Two words. Yeah. Jean Tian. I'm staying. Oh, man. She Her in that gorgeous. blue armor? I'm done. <laughs> yeah. And then she freaking, like, grabs the spear. She handles it like a boss. She's annihilating. I'm, woman, marry me. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I would have stayed. I would have stayed. I would have tested my skill I, yeah. out there with my bow. I would have defended for the right reasons. And then marry her at the end. <laughs> yeah. At the end. I don't like, know why he left. He's like, oh, uh, I just want to kill dragons yeah. and then I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, what are you doing, stupid? Go, go. <laughs> so even though they might keep you there for the rest of your life, because they kept that other man there. I'm yeah. getting fed. I'm killing mm-hmm. stuff every day. I get to shoot my bow and hang out with a beautiful, beautiful... Jing Tian. You yeah. don't know that. Or down. Yeah. You don't know Until that. Until I die. <laughs> <laughs> Their culture might say that you guys can't be together. And then you just have to just be the slave. Then we've got the new age Romeo and Juliet. It's going down. <laughs> She's, she can't help but fall for this. I don't know. I, I, I probably would have tried to leave. Maybe being captive just kind of holds heart, you know, to my dear to my heart a little bit more. I don't want to be held captive ever. No. So I would probably have to go. I can't chance it you know you, you guys are doing something that can possibly hinder the rest of my life so why would i in turn do something that can save yours mm-hmm. yeah well it's not even just saving theirs they actually clarified that um if these these creatures got through they would end the world they they, they said that it would reach all corners of the world so at this point you have to think me leaving is for myself. Me staying is at least attempting to give humanity a chance. So that's why my decision would be to stay. Yeah. All right, so you guys, you would have stayed? I would have stayed, yeah. All right, I'm probably not going to stay. <laughs> Just how they presented themselves to me, I got to go. I can't be left. I'll have to go ahead and take my chances with another uh, civilization, I guess. Now, let me ask you, if um, you were presented, okay, maybe you did stay, and, you know, everything, you saved the world, would you then continue to stay there, or would you leave? You know, would you leave with your friend? I would probably leave. I mean, it would. That's not my home. I only came there for a certain goal. Sure. And once I've achieved it, I would definitely go back home with my friends yeah. or family or whatever. I guess mm-hmm. he doesn't have any family, but yeah. still, people that I was familiar with who were familiar with me. Right on. I wouldn't want to wash my back or. You know, I don't know all the customs, so I might say something wrong and then have to go to jail. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm good on that. You guys have a favorite part? Uh, so those are co- there's two parts that stick out to me. Uh, one, uh, it was that whole initial fight sequence that we got in the beginning where they start saddling up and get everything ready. Yeah. But you got to see the, the differences between the colored armors. And yeah. I thought that was really awesome. And then you just you saw, it was funny too, because uh, Matt Damon says, you know, like, oh, these girls in the blue armor, they're cl- crawling out to grabbing these spears. Right. And like, they're, he's all, they're all women. Yeah. And I'm like, well, yeah, damn straight, man. And, it's, and they all just hurtle down and they do these really cool moves, kill things. Yeah. And then he gets his bow and, and then he starts killing stuff. And I thought it was cool. Like the, the sequences they had with that, I, I really enjoyed yeah, I think that was pretty unique, the way that they had the women go out there. They were, like, the bravest ones out yeah, of the entire movie. Yeah, because really. they were going into the beat. Like, even later on when they showed mm-hmm. the men going down the wall, they only went, like, that much off the wall compared to right. them diving all the way down to the ground. And I, I really so like that. they were smarter. No. They, no they, I, I would say that... They, they definitely was, shouldn't have been jumping all the way down there. Because <laughs> yeah. they were just getting killed one by one. <laughs> like, what's the sacrificial lambs? What's going on here? Listen, there's a strategy involved. There's a strategy. Right? And they, they, they were doing it. <laughs> Um, my favorite part would have to be probably uh, when they come out to the to the the not the bridge to the wall and they're like what happened to the men and they all you know shield up and they're walking out and walking out and there's the animal thing creeping up Tank-tank. and there's one Tank-tank. right behind them yeah that was 
dope. Yeah, it was pretty dope. Yeah. Like the way they came, but they were prepared though. They were prepared. So I, I liked it. It, was, it showed some type of strategy and some type of, uh, at least on the animals part. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. Intelligence there. Yeah. It's like, so these raptors, what's going on here? Yeah, velociraptors. They yeah. attack from the side. These actually look pretty cool. Yeah. It was almost, it was really cool to see like a Chinese style creature. Okay, let's get it right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, for me, I think one of my favorite parts was when uh, they went over the wall and um, they, they, they had like these, you know, things built into the wall where there were just like giant scissors just oh, cutting, yeah, that was pretty cool. cutting yeah, that was these dope. things down. And then they had people rappelling over the wall, fighting them like like vertically, like they were climbing up and they yeah. were going down. That so. was a, to, to me, yeah. that was some, some intellect there. We're, yeah. we're actual... Human beings with right. ideas. It's like, okay, if they go past the scissors, I got to stab them. Okay. <laughs> right. It's not just like we're going to face them one-on-one. -on -one. You know, we have all this other technology. We're going to just slice them up. I like yeah. that part a lot. I was going to say that, but yeah. I didn't want to. But Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Save something for me. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. How was the acting? We got some, some Asian actors with some English accents going on. Yeah, I mean... Um, was it weird? Was it... It, for me, it wasn't weird. Um, I, I think it was it was okay. Uh, the, the part that I had the hardest time with was Matt Damon's uh, acting. He had this really strange accent that just bugged me throughout the entire movie. He didn't have a strange one. And then, like, he, he went, his personality, I, I couldn't gauge it. Um, he went from being, like, really stone-faced, kind of like a Bourne, uh, Jason Bourne, uh, to, like, when he's talking with the my girlfriend chick, uh, <laughs> when he's talking to her and then he's just very like mm -hmm, yeah I fought for many flags you know kind of thing and he was just like kind of casual about it so I couldn't really gauge it his acting was just very sloppy yeah no I wasn't really feeling Matt Damon very much I didn't I didn't get connected to his characters I actually got uh, connected to the uh, the Spaniards character a lot more he had more character to him yes he was a distinct character he was funny I, I enjoyed him yeah he had character and then uh, Jing Tian, I, I really appreciated her character. Gorgeous. I mean, she just... Talk about having a strong woman in a flick. Like, it was great. And Matt Damon just kind of fell... It was just the typical, like, yeah, I was born in the war. I did this, did that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, give me some substance. Give yeah. me something behind you. You're a great archer. Give me mm -hmm. some more leeway behind that. That's like, very what made, dull. What got you there? What made you choose the bow? Like, give me some of that, man. It, that would have been great. Yeah. yeah and yeah. So like, I, just, all I feel like a lot of it was just downplayed, and and um, I think we lost a lot of really good, you know, you know, Asian actors because we focused here too much. Yeah. What they yeah. should have did was more like let some Asian actors be just as great as Matt Damon. Yes. I mean, I get it. They're trying to appeal to the American audience. But they can still be kind of like on the same level or right below. Yeah. And then maybe he like comes up with an idea that kind of trumps them a little bit. Yeah. And saves the day. But they were really downplayed. They're just like kind of like dumb soldiers. Yeah. They were so downplayed. And like their presence about them when they're coming out with the generals and all these different color armor and everyone's like, make way, make way. I really thought that they were going to allow them to go through and like chop up like a whole bunch of these like creatures by themselves yeah, like yeah. just take That's on actually, like 40 you know? you know we had the general you know your part the part that you like where two of them took him out yeah and i'm not even two of them just one of them with the strategic right strategy. and i'm just thinking like you know what like it would have been cool to see this general who's who made it up to being a general who's been yeah. fighting this war for so long it would have been cool to see him go out like a g oh i would have and yeah. the thing yeah. is like whenever these creatures got on the wall everybody died and it's like yeah. come on like and they were so surprised that matt damon killed one but on his own like i'm thinking like right. come on show me some awesomeness with the, these characters and like have them ha yeah. make 30 of them attack him make him take out 15 of them they accomplish their goal and they leave and they're like oh crap you know but it, it, they didn't even get that yeah right. so it, like i said it's not gonna be like a kung fu movie they're not doing all this crazy stuff Except for Matt Damon. He does. Yeah. But other than that, they're just regular soldiers. They're like, all right, now what do we do? Right. <laughs> and I'm like, what? You guys don't know nothing about nothing? They had a high mind, too. That's why. <laughs> I guess they did. <laughs> we got two um, high minds going but on. But <laughs> it was enjoyable. There were some funny moments. There were some, you know, awesome moments. Yes. It just wasn't, you know, what I would expect from, like, an Asian movie. Right. No, not at all. I mean, Asian movies, like, stand alone. I mean, again, I, I can think of uh, so many like Ip Man and like the Legend of the Fi Legendary Crouching Fist, Tiger. Crouching Tiger, Hidden yeah. Dragon, and you know all these amazing movies. And you know they are so awesome. Just one person is an army of one. I really would have loved to seen like them going yeah. into this fantasy world and just hack and slash like 
large amounts of these armies of these creatures. But yeah, because if they get last in 900 years, they build right. this big ass wall. Mm -hmm. They have some type of intelligence. They have some type of skill. Right. Yeah. yeah. Let us see that. Yeah. They weren't waiting for Matt Damon this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys, if you had to rate it, what are you gonna rate it? Uh, if I had to rate it, um, I, you know what? I got a. I'll give it a six because it's a fun movie. But I can dock it for so much. I think one of the biggest things was... <laughs> um, I'm going to give it a... Uh, se I'll give it a 7. I'm going to give it a 7. Mm -hmm. um, the, hero, the hero villain complex I found in this, they did a really nifty thing with the queen and her guards and just the creativity behind that. So I'm tossing them a bone for that. Um, I would have really liked to see a lot of these other characters play in because... Honestly, there was so much talent in that movie, and it didn't get utilized. So yeah. it, I'm, all, I'm really close to a six, but um, I'm tossing tossing the seven out. So I'm gonna give it a seven as well. Like I said, it wasn't boring. It wasn't uninteresting. It's definitely better than uh, the Independence Day movie. Yeah. Right. Um, but there's just so much. The fact that the main character was European, and there was no like um, equal. Asian character, right. I would have really yeah. liked that. Yeah. So that already gets a point off, and then yeah. the hive mind point off. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. and, and then it wasn't that doing that Hollywood, jeez. Yeah. You know, but it was something that if you like like action, you will like it. You just yeah. won't get much else. This is what most of my art friends would call just a reference material movie. There's a lot of good visuals in this, and um, I would watch it specifically to kind of look at the armor. I'd look up the. I would use it for reference material to, to like create some cool stuff. Yeah, they almost had something yeah. there. Just like, you know what? Yeah. We've got to have the high mind, though. I get yeah. it. I get it. No. But we got to have the high mind. Yeah, it's like those producers were in the background. Like, oh, but this high mind, it works so good. <laughs> you know? It's like cookie cutter, boom, boom. Yeah, just, oh, that's great. I don't right. get it, man. And you know what's funny, too, is they do the whole hive theme. But here's the funny thing. I told this to a Donald all year. When bees lose their queen, <laughs> they just appoint a new one. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so I'm sitting there going like, come on, you're all fighting, queen yeah. dies. You don't all just, eh. right. you know, you're like, all right, find a new one. Army. It reminded me of, um, was it World War Z? Yeah. It reminded me more of that. Where they're crawling. they were crawling out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of cookie cutter stuff in here, yeah. but um, uh, it was an original idea. Except a lot of cookie cutter elements. And, and two towers didn't didn't break it because two towers they just kept fighting until it was done. That's like, right. And it just this is like oh she died everyone dies. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, yeah. guess what we got? We got you know Tang Tian you know for the next month for dinner. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So that's our. Review. All right, guys, let us know what you think. Should we? Should they have like a European Western character as like the pivotal character in a Asian theme movie? Because, you know, we have a Bruce Lee coming up, and there's another European telling his story. Yeah. Like, we don't need it, <laughs> but I guess yeah. we need to feel comfortable about watching our movies or something like that. Uh, I'm okay uh, with watching other races yeah, I, star I, in their movies. Like that uh, Lowrider movie that's coming out. Oh, that looked great. Yeah. I can't wait yeah. to see it. Yeah. yeah. So, let us know what you guys think. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. We want to know. Are we tripping? Like Hot Minds, too? What? Are we the only ones that don't like hot minds? Uh, uh, kill the queen. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm your boy, D'Anthony. Adan. Krista Kosh. And we're out, baby. Peace. Peace. Blue.